This is a zebra. You might recognize it from its stripes. But why do they have these stripes? There are several possible explanations, such as camouflage, fly deterrence, and predator avoidance. In this video, I'll explain a rarely considered proposition, thermoregulation. Zebras spend a great amount of time of their day standing in the heat grazing. That puts them at risk of overheating. What does this have to do with stripes? Theoretically, stripes could help zebras keep cool. You might think that stripes would be bad because they are black and black absorbs more heat. But black can be good for keeping cool. In a study of ravens, researchers discovered that the black color doesn't seem to be a detrimental factor in heat balance. They compared common ravens, a large black bird, to a lighter color bird, and measured the temperature just below the uppermost features of the back when exposed to radiation. Here the raven's temperature was much hotter than the other birds, but when the researchers measured the temperature of the birds just above and below the skin, there was no difference. Following this logic, Bedouins, the current inhabitants of Sinai, wear black even though they reside in the desert. Researchers measured the difference between a black Bedouin robe and a similar white robe in the desert, coming out with a 6 degree Celsius difference in surface temperature. While black Bedouin robes gain 2 to 3 times as much heat by radiation from the sun as white robes, the convection of air beneath the robe carries the heat away before it reaches the skin. The greater convection beneath the black robe might make it feel more comfortable. Similar to the effect of black coverings in Bedouins and Ravens, it has been suggested that bold black and white stripes could set up convection cells if the stripes are greater than 5 centimeters wide and if the difference in temperature between black and white stripes is greater than 10 degrees Celsius. Zebra stripes meet these criteria. Our research shows striped equids have lower body surface temperatures than gray donkeys and brown hartebeests. We have also found that the stripe pattern of plain zebra varies with temperature across Africa. We find boldly striped zebra in hot equatorial regions and less striped zebra in cooler, more temperate climates. We can even apply this convection cooling model to electronics. One researcher took four plates, one untouched, painted white, painted black and striped, and heated all of them to 100 degrees Celsius. He then cooled all of them to 50 degrees Celsius by natural convection. His results show that the striped plate ended up losing heat faster than the others. As a result, it's possible that zebras have stripes to lose heat quickly. There's still future research to be done, such as investigating cooling processes and comparing color intermediates. But for now, we can say it's a real possibility.